Welcome everybody. It is Friday evening in the Elder Scrolls Online. So, it is time for Live Luxury Showdown. Every weekend, there are a, there are a few new luxury furnishings that show up on the weekend vendor here in Cold Harbor. And we have three contestants that are going to build something out of them and nothing but those. And they'll have 30 minutes to do it. So it's a quick build decorating competition. There are prizes for the contestants. There are giveaways for the viewers in Twitch chat. And hopefully everybody gets some decoration inspiration out of it. So Xanothran has just popped up. Let's see what he has this weekend and what the building materials for the contestants will be. It is crystals this week. <laughs> sounds okay. Thumbs up if sounds okay. Just let me let me know. Welcome everybody. Okay, so it is crystals. Some of these were from last year, four of these were from last year, and one of them is new. Take a look at the new one first, because why not? <laughs> okay, so this is a blue crystal cluster large. So these are disconnected from each other a bit, kind of growing out. And kind of similar to this one, but a little more spread out. They're very, very similar. Center line app has followed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. It's just starting into the live lecture showdown, analyzing the new items here. 20K for this though. So it's, it's similar to the one from last year, except for it's double the cost. You know, if you want variety, though, you're going to going to want this. These do kind of have these cracky, veiny bits on them. Kind of strange that a crystal lined lattice would be like that. But it's what it is. It's similar to what they were <clears throat> before. I think the most popular ones from last year were these fragments, so at 8k. Probably better value. These held up their value better than some of these others. And blue flame crystals. Or blue flame candles. <clears throat> 2,500 gold. Get a nice blue light out of it, though. And Soul Gem Grand. 5,000 gold on this. Okay, so here's the structure of this. I'm going to buy a bunch of each of these, and then I'm going to go place them in my primary residence, where we have three contestants that will build something out of these items. Welcome, everybody, in the Twitch chat. Okay, so I have some of these from last year. So I'm going to top myself off. I have a lot from last year. And then these are the new ones. Okay, I'm going to give each of them, say, 40 of these to work with, because that's what I have. I'm going to give each of them... Do I dare go that expensive? Sure, I'll give them each 30 of these to work with. It's probably too much to spend, but that's okay, that's okay. I'll give them each 40 of these to work with as well. I have more than that, so I'll have to be careful with the math. I'll give them each... Say... You can do a right click and do buy multiple so that you don't have to do what I'm doing. There we go. 40 of those to work with. And Soul Gem Grand. Give them each 30 of these to work with. I think that's going to be a lot. And most of these are light sources. So Soul Gem Grand is not considered a light source. All these others are light sources. Molanio has followed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So I have now bought these luxury furnishings. We're going to go over to my primary residence, which is, fortunately, within walking distance of Cicero's shop. So if you want to go get these during the weekend, go to Cicero's Food and General Goods in Hollow City in Cold Harbor. And they'll be gone in just a couple days, and then you'll have to wait another year to get those crystals if you want them. They were very popular last year. I hope people stuck up this time. Just spent a lot on it. Fortunately, I had some from last year, so keep keeping my... Gold outflows a little lower this year. <laughs> Not if there's anything nice this week. I think those crystals are comparable to the ones from last year. Double the cost, though. They also did the thing where they rounded down the costs. I don't know what happened last year where the prices were suddenly off. Normally, you'd expect them to be multiples of 1,000, and then they suddenly weren't. They, they've been fixing that going forward. Okay, so we have our contestants here. Make sure they're here. We have a, at least two of our contestants, so I'll have to stake out a claim. So this is the Live Luxury Showdown Stadium. We have three sectors here, all the same size, and they'll each get all the same number of materials to work with here. 
Melania says, well, that's being bought in Hollow City, so we have to go to Cicero's place. Go talk to Xenothran. Okay, so we're going to place all of these. <laughs> A lot of crystals. Okay, these show up un under Enchanted Light. So we have 40 of these blue crystal clusters to work with. This will probably do funky things. These are kind of large, and this is only you know, 10k. So, okay, so we should have 40 of these to work with. And, surprisingly, they have drops enabled right now. Kind of in honor of... Bethesda, and in honor of Wolf Hunter coming out here soon. So be sure to have your Twitch and your ESO accounts linked together so that you can get the, the Twitch drops while you watch. Somebody type drops in chat, or, or I can. Okay, they'll each have... 30 of these new ones to work with. Ah, they're, they're a bit bigger. They're a bit more spaced out. Thanks, Dermahawk. 30, yeah, these are a bit bigger. Are they twice as big? They do seem to have a much bigger light footprint. Man, yeah, that's spreading out that light a lot more. So as a light source, this actually works really well. Okay, 30 of those big new crystals to work with. I have a lot this 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 week. <laughs> and we do this every week, so if you want to come back again next week, we will be doing this again. It'll be more crystal stuff. Ninja Monkey 0169 with a monstrous raid. Thank you, Ninja Monkey. Welcome to the stream. I'm expecting lots of kudas. Tower Dwar starting off with the kudas. Snapdragon, thank you everybody. Welcome, Ninja Monkey. Wonderful streamer. We are doing live luxury showdown, just getting started, getting all these, wow. <laughs> these at least you can place on the ground. <laughs> they barely show up in the in the sh shadow of this though. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe put them up in the air. Maybe I'll rotate them so people can grab them better. No, oh, I hope they can grab them or I hope they don't just grab the air. I'm gonna put them on the ground. Yeah, me too. Welcome, welcome, what's up, Ninja Monkey? Uh, yes, sir, what's going on? Howdy, just getting situated here. We are putting down a lot of crystals. How was your stream? Oh, so good. So good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, I have a lot of crystals. What do you make of these crystals, Ninja? Have you had Oh, I like them? the new ones. I like the new ones a lot, man. They're big. It's, it's got a it's got a nice dispersion. It's it's big. It, it's really gonna accentuate all the pieces that they already gave us. You know, give give you more diversity in in your build volume, um, and for the the same amount of lighting, actually. So that's that's pretty cool. They actually seem to put out more light too, which is pretty nice. But oh, they, you they are twice as much. there. That's pretty cool. Oh yes, sorry, I'm getting so distracted placing all these candles. Uh, Lou Shine plays has subbed. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. We're doing live luncher show done. Is, is tiny little blue candles <laughs> hardly make a dent here well you get enough of them together and it's like blinding though so many lights this week man i can't even see those candles anymore so much blue so much blue yeah it's good though i like it 2500 it's actually whoa it's actually one of the better buys from last week, if you wanted resale value. The cheaper things tend to do that. They tend to end up selling for more than their original cost. The ones over 20k or so end up being a bit more risky. And then the other light was... Oh, it was not a light. It was a soul gem. Soul gem grand. Kind of small. I'll have 30 of these to work with. This does not actually put out a light though it kind of feels like it has a bit of a glow to it okay we are almost done placing everything then we'll make sure everybody's all situated Oop. one more crystal <laughs> there we go 
So far, so good. Okay, we have our three contestants here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be starting in one minute. Just want to make sure everything's all good. Tower Dweller with the resub. Thank you so much. They say happy Friday and four months of J.R. Ellis streams. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Tower Dweller. Appreciate your support. <laughs> People saying I need sunglasses looking at all this light. Okay, uh, they need to get to their zones. And one person per sector. Okay, they, see, they seem to kind of know what's up. I believe all three of these contestants are new here. Oh no! Poor bear. <laughs> I guess bear wasn't going to help them decorate. Whoa, all three? Wait, is that not working? Well, not working. Have, you, have you done introductions yet? No, not yet, not yet. We're just getting started. Right. We'll do intros after we get the clock up. Okay, we're starting here in just a moment. Thank you again, everybody in the Twitch chat. Starting in 15 seconds. And then we'll get the clock up. They'll have 30 minutes to make something fun, something creative out of nothing but these crystals and lights. So that will be kind of kind of difficult. And starting in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Let me get the clock up here. Clock, 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 clock. <clears throat> oh, her bear's name's Beretta. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Okay, clock is up. 30 minutes on the clock. They have 30 minutes to make something. Make something fun out of the lights. So they just have to use these five luxury items and they have to create something, just whatever comes to their mind does not give them a lot of time to think about what they want to make either. So they have to think on the fly and execute that, come up with something. Cody4 with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We have just started the building of the live luxury showdown, making something out of the crystals and the lights and soul gems this weekend. This was a new light. Large crystal cluster. This is 20k right here in the middle. Let's see how this is incorporated. It's going to be kind of a challenging hey, week. Welcome back. Hi, guys. Welcome. We have two of our judges here with us. We have Ninja Monkey 0169 and we have Swankery. Swankery back. Whoa. <laughs> Crystal's throwing me under. Throwing me under the Cold Harbor's real estate. Swankery back from a trip. Want, that's right yeah if you want to tell us anything about that or keep that to uh, yourself had... that's fine Woo. <laughs> i had a couple of great weekends so i went and partied in the woods twice oh good yeah it was what good times what is going on with this do you see what's going on on the stream it keeps throwing me under it's so weird i don't know why it's doing that it's whenever i jump it does it it's throwing the camera under the floor oh well i will not jump normally i, I go around and I that's jump hilarious everywhere. keep doing it <laughs> keep jump keep jumping <laughs> i don't know what this is i don't know what this is it's kind of fun it's kind of not hey you can see my lights that are under the <laughs> under the ball in the middle <laughs> glow bushes and crimson stars okay i won't do that too much even though it's kind of fun okay i do want to introduce our contestants here we have Justice Plague, either goes by Justice or Plague or just JP. We'll be, called, be calling her JP today. And JP, JP, JP says that they are a do a bit of everything because I'm in the game for fun type of girl. They love PvE, but they mostly farm and PvP, they can go and kill some stuff. They die a lot and have fun. So important important to keep that variety wait wait girls video game what no, no. news to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's all new it's all yeah yeah it's 
Just just started yesterday, so if you, if you didn't cut the Swank, memo. did you know about this? Did you know this? <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. Crazy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a good change. And JP says that they believe housing is a true end game, and obviously they love housing because of all the neat stuff that can be done, like floating islands, or you can make a house glow blue and green from inside the walls, and they would love to see things like animated fish added, or more furnishing slots so that they can put more stuff in your house. And good luck to JP. We have our well, there's so much blue here. Oh gosh, <laughs> gonna be some weird looking screenshots. Whatever they make. Wait, where, where they go? Drunken Gale. Also, just goes by Gale. They say that they prefer PVE the most of all. They and they love storylines, so that they love getting immersed in quests. And they say they have a furniture addiction, which is good because they have 27 houses. And they love going around with guild traders and finding cheap furnishings that they can stick in all their houses. So, happy to have Gail here today. 27 great googly moogly. Even I don't have that many. I need to go buy a bunch of houses and just go to town on them. <laughs> they are fun to decorate. And uh, Gail Crazy. says that they would like to see more decorative NPCs added as furniture. And maybe make them interactable so you can, you know emote at them and they maybe respond to it or be able to dye their clothes so fun fun things like that and gail is currently trying to su survive motherhood so good luck today gail good luck with the surviving motherhood <laughs> hopefully hopefully yeah. so many lies <laughs> so my crystals okay and our third contestant is dua fell bandit oriel dua says that they kind of do a little bit of everything and that they do love them some Cyrodiil and Battlegrounds though they're kind of new to that so there's but they are enjoying it did like the mid-year mayhem event kind of gave me an opportunity to get more into that as well and Dua says that they like all the challenges of the different formats so so PvP has its own um, challenges, PvE has its own challenges, and you know, even going around doing RP or questing has its own challenges. And do I uh, would like to see more housing options, maybe different types of furnishings, or things like water and environmental type of furnishings. So good 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 look there as far as what maybe could improve ESO. And Dua says that their aspiration is to be the very best like no one ever was. Hopefully they can win this contest then. Like but... the best around? <laughs> Just the best, the best based on some metric. I'm not sure what the metric is. Maybe just in their own mind. They can be the best in their own mind. Be the best around. Nothing's <laughs> ever gonna get you down. Do all strives to be the best. Hopefully, hopefully they can do that. And they say they are married, have a teenager, and have two cats and a dog, and they work for a big bad ISP. Well, guess they can't win. Sorry, sorry, disqualified. Nope, no. Nope. Good luck to do all. We'll, we'll let it slide. Okay, so. Welcome to our three contestants. We have Dua, we have JP, and we have Gail. So good luck to all three of our contestants. Let's try and think what Justice Plague initials were. <laughs> Should not be difficult. <laughs> okay, and we have the two minutes on the board. And let's keep. It's just like when I walk under the crystals, it does it. I think it might have something to do with the crystals. It might not be something new kind of weird like it's, it's weird though i also have to be careful where i step and welcome everybody in the twitch chat do be sure to have your eso and twitch accounts linked so that you can get those drops that is enabled till sunday i'm not sure what time of day on sunday but they said till sunday so get some of those crown crates brb 
<laughs> Hello. And we have a Wuben, our third judge, guild leader of Divine Design Alliance. Wuben, welcome to the stream. Tell us a bit about hey, yourself. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, part of the DDA group and big housing guild of all kind, all levels, all different styles. Nothing. There's no requirements. You know, there's no. Uh, you got to do this or that. You just if you like furniture and homes and, and stuff like that, then you're welcome. All welcome. Yeah, so Divine Design Alliance, the best housing guild on the server or in the game on ESO. The best. The best. So if you're interested in housing, like things like this competition, then do maybe shoot Wubin a message so you can get an invite to Divine Design Alliance. And I'm going to plug my other contest right now as well, which is tomorrow, <clears throat> tomorrow's stream. I'm at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I've been, I've been trying to get people involved with this. Let me get the link for this. One sec, one sec, one sec. Where is... I'm going to link this in Twitch chat. We have our Malakath Makeover Contest tomorrow, where you take the Orsinium statue head, and you do something fun with them. So that would be... We have six different prize categories. They are going to be craziest hairdo, most terrifying, goofiest, least Malakathy opposite of whatever this is best facial hair and most creative so if if you want to see details on that do go and look at the eso forms that's up on the housing section and you can still get your entry in i mean you don't you don't have to go all out on it so if you still need one of those i can say i'll do you one to you for 35k there are some up on the spicy life guild trader as well at 35k or just go get one yourself if you, if you need that and Join the stream tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday the 11th, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll go around and judge those and have some fun looking at what people have done with their Malakath makeovers. So that'll be fun. Also, right after this stream, after the live lecture show done wraps up, we'll be doing a housing hike. A few, uh, not as many houses this, this week. It should only take about an hour instead of like three like last time. So, uh... Just going around touring people's homes, seeing what they've been working on recently. A lot less structured, more casual. Just kind of being chill and seeing what cool things people have been working on. So that'll be housing hike. That'll be immediately following the contest here. And do stick around for the uh, judging here. We'll be doing some giveaways. We'll be do giving away a couple of these new light clusters. See, let's do, let's, we'll give away three of them, and we'll do five of those giveaways. So that we'll be giving 15 of these new crystals away. That sounds good. Sounds fair. Sounds good. Now, that'll be during the scoring section. And we'll do some more after the housing hike as well. Okay, we have things taking shape. Wow, lights up, crystals up in the sky. This feels like these are being launched they just certainly have direction to them so they seem like they're going up and exploding up in the sky these crystals make excellent fireworks so if you ever have like a festival or a celebration then you can incorporate it that way because they look like they're exploding good luck with that we have Oh man, these, these <laughs> crystal clusters are so hard to walk over. You mean they think you think they would be painful? It's like a jumping challenge. I can't jump on them though because as soon as I jump, it like messes me up. Can I get on top of them? Oh, so there's all sorts of crazies. Look, <laughs> I'll admire it from afar. <laughs> Looking quite kind of environmental kind of being stepped up here might be building a platform of some sort or maybe they just going for some sort of crystal cave we'll see if as this takes shape man this is a lot of crystals so that the the is the new one the one it does you can turn that on and off no right? none of these are interactable no. that's actually so, interactable? Oh. so i just noticed twink uh I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking, what what is going on? 
but when you when you're far away, they're brighter. Okay, because I saw a couple of them that were brighter than the others. Oh, they yeah, lose their uh... they lose their. Uh... It's it's kind of odd. I never noticed that before. Yeah. yeah, it's like the light stays about the same even though it's in a smaller space. Yeah, they're super bright from far away. Yeah. Uh, I get it now. You get closer yeah. and you can see the textures on them a bit better. The only one that's interactable is the little candle. You can turn that off if you don't want the little blue flame on the candle. Okay, and here... Yeah, I've never noticed that before. Yeah, they're, su they're super bright from far away. It's probably not good physics <laughs> but it is fun not at all no <laughs> trying to think how, how does physics work it's like the like square there's some formula the light gets more dispersed the farther you go, get away yes yes <clears throat> okay actually when it when a mommy light particle and a daddy light particle like each other very much um they interact with each other and give off a, a small amount of radiation it's pretty spectacular, actually. Hmm. Maybe that's why all the kids at school used to call me a dirty photon. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, Jojo says it's like an underwater Christmas. Ooh, it's fun. So, well, the only issue with these is that these are all about the same color. So, if they want to have contrast with, you know, trying to bring textures out it's going to be difficult if they're making like a structure like if this if this whatever this is has a face or something it's going to be hard to tell if it has a face oh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out what this is kind of looks like a fish kind of looking like a fish maybe these are fins I feel like this is the opposite of most of the regular competitions where we, where you would provide them with a light. I feel like you should have provided them with a piece of darkness. <laughs> I suppose of, I should of have. Of some type, like an urn or something like that that they could use for accent pieces or whatever. Actually, I had there's one week when I was going to do that. I was just going to like give them crates or something to work with. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have thought I had done that. But extra nah, challenge this week. Lessons learned. Unless, <laughs> it'll be fun. I mostly just like having lights every week so that it draws out the colors a bit better. Oh, absolutely. Okay, where are we at? We are at 14 minutes left. More than halfway through. Ooh, this could make like a good dragon because the crystals yeah. kind of be like scales. I was just thinking that. I'm really rooting for Ice Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Go Ice Dragon. So if that's what they're going for, then it's going to be, it's going to be rough getting it done in time. It's always rough, J Hart. It's okay. always rough, but we it find is. a way. Life will find a way. Crystals formed over millions of years. Only to be shattered as fireworks. For Yay. our amusement. Amusement, amusement, <laughs> amusement. Destroy all the things. It makes me happy. <laughs> Okay, this is looking more and more like a fish. Oh, hey, like these, at least these grand soul gems have a little bit of a color contrast. It's a little bit darker. So, hey, yeah, you have some eyes here. Yeah, and there's purple on the bottom too, so. Right. I like how they're asymmetrical. It's more like a derpy fish. Okay, somebody else wants to show up at home for housing hike. Write that down so we don't forget. Okay. Ninja Queen 43 with a follow. Welcome to the stream. We are halfway through. Live luxury showdown this week. Building something out of nothing but the latest luxury furnishings. These are crystals up on the luxury vendor this weekend. There's this new large crystal cluster, 20k. The smaller one's only 10k, but this one's bigger. That's like this crystal that's kind of off by itself. And puts up more light. Seems to put up more light. 
another chance to get these fragments again for 8k or grand soul gem for 5k or this you can't even see them because there's so much light coming off of the stack of them or these blue flame candles for two and a half thousand gold so if you like these go grab them this weekend did these uh <clears throat> sell well during the year j -Hart? some did some did not um the best ones to get were these fragments they were going for like 15k which was about almost double the cost for a while some of the others were kind of hard to sell or the blue flame candles the, the good thing about blue flame candles is usually if you need one you need multiple of them so you can sell multiple multiple of them and make better use of your limited sales slots that way so if you sell them like four at a time for like 15 or 20k then you can make better gold off it that way instead of selling them individually. Akira Iris has followed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate that. We are coming up on 10 minutes. Have to work fast. It's only 30 minutes. Feels very militaristic. So maybe a few too many lights being fired at once. No, no such thing. <laughs> no such thing. No such thing. Where from, please? Where am I from? Where are luxury furniture items from? Where are you from? I don't know. That's they're, pro they're probably asking where the luxury furnishings are from. So if you go to Cold Harbor, go to Cold Harbor. See, here's Cold Harbor. Go to Hollow City. It's like. The big city. Go to Hollow City. Oh, I'm not there. Go to Hollow City. You're at the way train. Go over to Cicero's Food and General Goods and talk to the vendor called Xanol Thuran. He is only up there during the weekend, starting at Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and he's gone by Monday morning. So you have to go. You have to go get these before, he, before he's gone. <laughs> Corresponds also with the golden vendor in Cyrodiil. So if people are linking gold jewelry and and you're like, oh, where are those coming from? It's like, oh, it's, it's time to go get my luxury furnishings. The Primordial Squid has followed. Welcome, Primordial Squid. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Live luxury showdown. Almost nine minutes left. 21 minutes gone. It goes fast. Let's build something out of nothing these crystals this week definitely a challenge and especially a challenge since it keeps throwing my camera underground for some reason wow it's weird how the light changes like oh i see i see how this works so it's not just that it becomes more condensed they like literally turn on and off i don't know if you can see this here yeah like as i'm moving it's so weird it's kind of cool yeah, the ones up in the air was really is really what I want up here with the magic carpet. Oh yeah, magic carpet. Like, it's really is a neat. Fun, fun thing. That's what they're doing to to go around here on these on these grates. You can go around, get good looks at things, get better screenshots, have better access to your home, placing things. Yeah, that's how I noticed the the light was changing because I was I was running up to it and it was like different crystal formations were popping on and off yeah so <laughs> here they are they're popping on and off as i walk back and forth yeah, that's fun eight minutes left oh i like it's kind of amazing how these grand soul gems have just enough color differentiation that you can tell this is something different so it's kind of more looks like a flower maybe with a curvy stem maybe that's what it is Contestants have to build using lots of furnishings, and they are working within the housing editor, which is sometimes difficult to work with. Let's see how big fish is coming together. Might be leaving behind it a trail of bubbles. Okay, no jump. <laughs> we are at... Seven minutes left. Seven minutes left. Mm 
<laughs> Star Fox says it looks like a fish. I think so. Even has eyes. Gale going with more spirally flower things. I'll have each of them tell me what, what they've actually made. Don't want to misinterpret this. Definitely getting fireworks vibe out of this. They look just like lines from the backside though. Lines of crystals. Ah, they have three-dimensionality. And we have this crystalline staircase, which is terrible to try to navigate. <laughs> Worst parkour challenge ever. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I jump, it makes my camera go weird. Okay, I got on top of it. Do I win something? Ugh. Oh, I fell. <laughs> or maybe they just want to get them out here so they could work on this thing. Yeah, it's looking like an ice dragon or something. Kind of. Let's get it together. Oh, I have five minutes left. Oh, I see the dragon. Yeah, I like this. It does have a scaly effect. Those crystals. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Though, this is kind of like an expensive effect. These are 10 and 20,000 each. <laughs> but the housing buffs, I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but they seem to come up with infinite gold to pay for all this sort of stuff. Well, what I do is I watch uh, I watch J Hart's gold making stream, so. <laughs> this, this, is, this is a good idea. So, yeah, every Monday... Every Monday evening, I do a gold making tips and tricks stream. So, do join me Monday evenings. You can ask questions. I'm a trading guild leader. I have a lot of a lot of experience figuring out how to make gold in the game. I've also been putting out um, a weekly market update. You can see that up on the website, spicyeconomics.com. Putting up a weekly video, kind of helping people prep for upcoming events and changes, so kind of figure out what markets are actually changing week to week. So it's coming week, we have Wolf Hunter, that's bringing a lot of changes. As far as housing is concerned, I'm actually kind of excited for the changes with the Eleanor furnishings, where you can make the blue and the green Eleanor furnishings, and they will only require one Kalanda lacquer, so that's going to be, that's that's, gonna be that's nice. That's a big deal. Yeah, it is. That's a huge deal. That's going to be awesome. And they're also yeah. going to make it easier to make to actually get the Kalanda Lacquer, where you'll get it as a guaranteed drop from the Sapiark dailies. So it should bring the price on that down, too. So you see oh, all those. Oh, oh and happy uh, 52, 116. Uh, that's just happening for Jayhar. That's not happening for anybody else. And if he was to, like, refresh his game, I bet that would go away. Oh, but it's so fun. Look at this. It's so fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying to fix it. I'm just saying that that is not, that is not working as intended. Just because that's what you're seeing on the screen is not how it's working. No, no, no. This is this is a this is a glitch. I could reload my UI, but for now, it's okay. It's okay. We'll work through it. We are at three minutes left. I'm getting a, a fishy vibe off of the uh, JP build over here. A little bit. Yes. I like the eyes. Oh, so so. Oh, suddenly we have gills. We have gills. Pretty sure I found the butt. Don't touch the butt. Why is the butt spewing so many bubbles? I don't even it's think that's fin. how I don't even think that's how fish work. It's a giant fin, bro. Is it? Maybe it is. Quite a large fin on the back. Very flashy fish. Maybe it's a deep Hell sea yeah. fish, you know. Wants to make sure all of its predators know exactly how to eat it. Hmm, <laughs> look at me. I am delicious. I'll see if there's a backstory. It was, it was good using these Grand Soul Gems to figure out where the face is, though. Because otherwise, otherwise it would have been difficult. Could 
maybe use these lights if they're turned off to do something. They're just going to be white, though. And very small. Somebody was asking about magic carpet in the... In the chat, yes, it's magic carpet. It's the best. Yeah, that's, that's what lets them go around on, go around on these clockwork grates. Yes, you can use planks too, but I prefer grates because you can see through them. Yeah, we have we yeah. have some sort of jump rope Great here. Add -on. Uh, it's really useful when you if you're building a, like a structure. Oh yeah, that's how I built the, the spaceship with the um, Borg versus Enterprise thing. And it was so so much easier than building uh, scaffolding everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. We are at one minute left. Just one minute. I kind of like these, you know, ephemeral flowers. That or that. It's like a firework that's going up and it's just not quite going up straight, so it's swirling around until it explodes. Might not be balanced. Maybe it's just a flower. We'll find that here in a moment. And we're at ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it is over. So that is 30 minutes gone. They had 30 minutes to make something out of these luxury furnishings. And they've each managed to pull off something. Of course, time is a big factor here. No, it says oh, the wow. spiral ones are actual fireworks effects. Ooh, that's fun too. Yeah, a lot of things just came came together um, the last minute there. Cool. Moose, more moose. Pumpkin fudge with the follow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Live Luxury Showdown. We've just wrapped up the building portion of this. We will get into judging here in a moment. Letting them, letting the three contestants let me know what they've each made. We have <laughs> okay, okay. So we have what they have each made. Okay, we'll start. We'll start here with uh, JP. JP has made a fish. He said that they tried making a better, better fish, though the housing editor was not in agreement. <laughs> so. That's a challenge here. You have 30 minutes and you have to work within the housing editor and you're manipulating a lot of items here. So, challenge. But we could recognize it was a fish. So, what does everybody make of JP's fishy fish? Yeah, really, uh, I like it. It's always fun to see people's ideas, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think thinking of a but uh, they do have those those really flowy type you of fins. You mean like a fins. beta? Yes. However yes. it's pronounced. <laughs> yeah. Not an alpha. Yeah, it does. It does. It does have that feel, for sure. And these flowy fins. You get that kind of like, because they're, they're very thin as well. So you get that with these, these fragments here. So yeah, I, I, I can buy that too. And we have these little gills and little, little derpy eyes. Cute fish. I like fish. Glowy fish. Okay. Thank you, JP, for the big fish. Big fishy fish. Good job. Okay, next up we have... One issue is that when they whisper of me, it shows their character name instead of their at name. It makes it hard to tell who's is who. Okay, next up we have an ice dragon from... Oh, I see. This really came together at the end here. I see what they did. Man, they changed. Yeah. They changed this a lot at the last minute. 
So we have we have ice dragon and flying up here it has the wings flapping. Have these scale effects and give, having these soul gems as eyes. Kind of hard to place them, so I don't think they intended to do them asymmetrical. But overlook that for now. Hey, from one side or the other, you don't even see it. And have the scale effect from the crystals, which is really awesome. And the cool thing about this is it looks like it's shooting these crystals. I love it. I love yes. that. Yes. Yeah. I'm shooting a ice. Making a big ice explosion down here on the ground. Remind me not to jump. <laughs> Doom from the ice dragon. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna acknowledge that. <laughs> oh come on. You, you know you know vanilla ice was your role model growing up. <laughs> okay. Do okay, that was uh Dua. Dua was the uh, Ice Dragon. And our third entry. Good job with the Ice Dragon. End up throwing all the crystals here into the explosion. They were kind of a bit more spread out before. I like that they changed it last moment. And the third one is from Gale. Gale has put a lot of elements into this. What what has Gale made here? They say it is Chinese New Year. Totally. I I see it now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we have some of, you know, all these fireworks being fired up it's into the sky. Celebration. Exploding. We have a crystal dragon here. And we have these spirally flower fireworks as well. It's a good effect. Man, there's a party going on right here. Yeah. A celebration to last for Chinese New Year. When is that? When is that? It's gonna be February. Hard, I don't know when it is every year. <laughs> and then, oh, what is this? There's a pile of crystals here. I'm not quite sure what it is. Is it just explosion of some sort? I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's like a lotus flower. Lotus flower. Yeah, I was thinking lotus. Could be that. We'll go with that. Okay, so we will now have the judges whisper me who they think did the best job, given the constraints and given the items and you know just given the level of creativity exhibited here today. So will the winner be Fishy Fish? Will it be the Ice Dragon? Or will it be the Chinese New Year? Have the judges whisper me that, and in the meantime, we will be giving some people some chances to qualify for some giveaways. So type M-I-N-E, M-I-N-E -E spells mine, in the Twitch chat, if you're here, and you can qualify for these drawings. We'll be doing five drawings of three of these big new crystals each, so I'll be giving 15 of these big crystals away to those participating in Twitch chat. I'll get those mailed out after the stream. We'll do we'll do a, the drawings um, after we announce the winner and everything, so it's not too distracting. M I N E Twitch chat, so we can qualify for the drawings when we do them in just a few minutes. Okay, we have scores coming in from the judges. Missing one score. Mm -hmm. It. It's coming. It's really hard. It's really <laughs> hard. I'm, I'm Maricene 557 Look. has followed. You can do it, Swankery. Pick your favorite. Yeah, all you have to do is pick the one I didn't. So. <laughs> Working together as always. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I like how there's such variety of builds this week. I think the crystals kind of force people to uh, change things up a bit. Nothing too predictable here. Okay, we have... And 
and I am adding up the scores and we'll get a winner declared here. There. Judges divided yet again. Boom. Boom. That's, that's the great thing. People have different tastes. High fives for everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good job, everybody. So we will. We do still have a winner, though, going going off of other scores. So will the winner be the fish from JP? Will the winner be Dua with their ice dragon? Or will the winner be Gale with their take on Chinese New Year? A lot of fun stuff going on in each of these builds. And the winner of... Which number is this? I think this is... This is number... 28 or 9. <laughs> I, think, I think it's 9. I think it's eight. I think it's twenty-eight. I think it's twenty-eight. Winner of live luxury showdown number twenty-eight. Crystals. The theme this week. Winner is. Ba -ba -ba -ba, Dua with the ice dragon. Yay! Yay! Ooh. Ooh. The hey, dragon. Actually, ooh, this the is a cool dragon. jump effect. The Let's dragon. Work. The dragon. I, li I like this jump right here because it hides the ground, so it looks like it's flying more. And it looks like I'm jumping 40 feet high. <laughs> Congratulations, Duathel Bandanorial. Winning. What are you doing over there, J-Hart? Jumping a lot. Hey, <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> and congratulations. We have our live lecture showdown every weekend at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Or when it's time changes and it's just whenever his animal thrown shows up. So, join us again next week if you want to get more decoration inspiration. For now, we will be heading into our housing hike, so stick around for that. And so, thank you, everybody. Thank you, judges, for being here. Thank you to all of our contestants. And thank you, Thanks, everybody, everybody, for joining in the Twitch chat. And go out and maybe buy some of these crystals. They're only here for the weekend.